Welcome to the behind the board on editing drums with swing. Uh, swing feel is something that a drummer plays with. It doesn't uh, lock directly into the grid in Pro Tools. So uh, when we get a feel like this, we need to use Elastic Audio still, but uh, use our judgment a lot more. So take a listen to what a swing feel feels like. All right, fantastic. The first thing we need to do is get into Elastic Audio. But before we do anything, we want to make sure we have a good punch here and we want to make sure we consolidate our regions. Uh, we don't like to have many different uh, punches going on and fades going on. Um, so these are two different takes that were punched together. Uh, let's take a listen to it and uh, see if this is a good punch or not. All right, this is a bad punch. Listen for that symbol and watch it disappear once we reach that line. We don't want that, that's unnatural. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll make ourselves a drum group and start editing. So click your top kick, uh, go down to the bottom, uh, which is your overhead right in this one. Uh, press shift and click it. Uh, then go to groups. Um, for right now, I'm just going to press Command G to bring up my group menu. We've got to start moving a little faster as we start editing more because editing takes a lot of time. We'll name it Drums. These hotkeys will be great for you, especially when you're editing. Uh, we're going to stay in slip mode, F2, and just take a look down a little closer to where this punch happened. Uh, so get your trim tool, which is F6, or this tool right up here. And let's trim from left to right a bit and uh, see if we can make that weird symbol uh, disappearance go away. Right, let's see if that was far enough. Click your selector tool, F7. Uh, click before this and play back. Uh, it still kind of just disappears right there. Let's give it a little more room, hit our F6 move it over to maybe right about here or at what looks like bar eight um, a little after beat four and let's listen back to that we'll zoom back out f7 to our selector tool take a listen that's great that's exactly what we want to hear there's almost no change go back to it zoom in a little bit um, grab a little before, a little after. You don't want to grab any transients. Just a little before, a little after. And press Command F to open up your fades. We want an equal power fade, which is what we have set right now. And we'll use the standard shape. Uh, I like equal power fades on drums a lot. They sound fantastic. So let's use those for now. All right, so that was our only punch. Uh, so zoom back out. And now we need to consolidate the area. Uh, before we consolidate, I'm going to make duplicate tracks. So we have this uh, track forever. We don't have to worry about uh, what we do with it. We could always get back to it. So we have it before we start editing and uh, before even we consolidate, which will take away uh, our ability to trim left and right around our punch. Uh, so consolidation will take that completely away, but if we make duplicates by going to the down arrow and pressing duplicate, we don't have to worry about that. We can get back to this at any point after Elastic Audio and after consolidation. So to consolidate, let's click this three times. One, two, three. That will highlight everything uh, on the tracks. Go up to edit and go down to consolidate clip. It's right down here. That's your hotkey if you want it. And let's consolidate. All right, now we have no punches, no anything, which is good because when we use Elastic Audio, Elastic Audio does not like punches and uh, we don't want that headache. So let's set up our Elastic Audio by going to the Elastic Audio button that I'm clicking right here. I'm going to Rhythmic, taking off of our group, taking the instruments that are getting many sounds or overhead left and right. Press Command and click it to unhighlight it, then click it to highlight. Press Shift, click the next one. And now if we want to move these both at the same time from Rhythmic to uh, Polyphonic, press Shift, Alt, Option. Click right here, not where it says Rhythmic, right here. And click Polyphonic, and you got it. 
So next, let's go back to our drum group. Go from samples to ticks. Go from waveforms to warp. And we're set up to start Elastic Audio on this. Uh, so we're going to have some different fields on here, and we're going to use this Elastic Audio menu a little bit differently. Uh, I'll show you right away what we'll have. We're going to start right here with the triplet. And the triplet is not dead on. You can see it's ending uh, before the grid. That note should be on the grid at the end of a triplet like that. Uh, so we do need to fix it. Uh, so let's start working on it. We want to make our starting point our ending point. We'll start with this triplet fill and we'll end with what's at the end here. Uh, go to event, event operations, and quantize. Now we have our event operations menu up. We don't want to be in 16th notes. Uh, this is pretty much all in 8th note triplets, this fill. There's one little spot of it that isn't. So we switched to 8th notes and now we also want to switch to triplet. And let's just highlight that area, that little first fill, because we don't want to go too far until we highlight the beginning and the end, but this will be our beginning. And we'll apply. Take a listen to what we have. Perfect. Now I'm not going to edit this right here, this little transient, because it was a drag on a roll. Uh, it wasn't really its own hit. Um, so it's more of like a grace note type of thing, they'd call it. Uh, in like music class you, you don't you don't want to go too nuts and uh, take that away it'll sound a little unnatural let's go to the end of it and see what we got here we have another triplet so we're in the right settings in our eighth note triplet mode we're right at the end and we're going to start right here at about 24 seconds and just go to the end of it and apply let's take a listen that's exactly what we want to do. Sounds fantastic. And let's move uh, back to the beginning of the song and start working on swing. All right. So we're starting at the beginning of the song. We're right at bar three, beat one. <clears throat> I'm not going to be in grid mode too much um, because we're in this swing feel. So we don't want to have eighth note triplets uh, throughout the entire thing because we won't have them going on constantly. Let's take a listen again to the swing feel. All right, so that's our swing feel. Let's go to where it says eighth note triplets and get rid of triplet. And now go to options and turn swing on. This is a normal swing feel, so we could just leave our swing set at 100%. There's different amounts of swing. Um, and you'll have to figure out how to set them uh, for different songs. Uh, but usually, you're usually at 100% uh, on these normal swing type feels when you're listening to something kind of up like this. Let's uh, grab a piece of it. Let's grab a real small piece because we're going to have issues in here that we can't correct by hand due to the swing feel. So let's press apply. All right, we have issues right away. We're just grabbing a lot of stuff that obviously isn't even hits. So it does have a few issues with this. Take a listen to what happened and then we'll fix it. All right, so obviously this hit, this hit, and this hit we don't need. So let's just highlight all of those and press delete. Let's highlight that area again. Just those two now, just to give it a little less chance of making a mistake and press apply. All right, so there's still one little mistake there. Let's so listen back. All right, so let's get rid of this one. We don't need that. And we're just going to grab this one little fella and press apply. Now we have it all fixed. Yeah, so this can get tedious, but let's go through and do this. Just you can do it along with me. Um, and we'll keep on editing just that way. Look, this one worked pretty well. Perfect, so we'll keep going. Now I'm at bar four, beat four, and I'll take it all the way up to what looks like another fill here. So I'll just take it up to where the fill starts. Let's take a listen. All right, fantastic. Now we'll get our fill. Highlight it. Uh, our fill is obviously just lasting this amount of time, but you can give it a listen just to make sure um, sometimes you don't know what when the fill does stop just from the waveforms because uh, 
I can start that beat up again. There you go. But let's highlight just that area. And we now are back in eighth note triplets for that, except for one hit, which is a 16th note triplet. So let's uh, take the swing off, because we don't want any swing on this. And let's change our quantize grid to eighth note triplets, just by going down to triplet. And press apply. And now we have this one person right over here, this one little, uh, looks like a transient, yes it is. This one little transient right over here that we do need to lock in as well. Uh, so there's two ways to do that. We could go right up here to the grid. And it does have a triplet mode, which is great. So click on that and go back and make it 16th note because it's a 16th note triplet. Click your grid mode on, F4 will do that for you. Uh, click over there, zoom in a little bit. Let's get to our grabber tool. That's up here, that's also F8. Uh, let's grab it right on the rack tom, which is being hit and just lock it in. And it was that simple, it wasn't a big move. All right, let's get out of grid mode. We won't be using it much. Let's press F2 to go back to slip mode. And let's listen to what we got. All right, great. So let's keep going from there. We'll highlight a bit. Let's take a listen back to what we highlighted. Okay, so we're just uh, out of this triplet mode again. So let's get out of triplets. Let's go back to options swing. And let's apply there and take a listen. All right, fantastic. Let's zoom in a little bit. It looks like something happened with that first note there, if you can see it from this far away. <clears throat> okay, we had a problem with that first note. Uh, let's go and back to our hand tool. Let's give it a double click to get rid of it. We could have also did that with our... Uh, uh, our trim tool, or not our trim tool, I'm sorry, our selector tool by highlighting and pressing delete. Um, but let's get back to our selector tool, F7, highlight that again, and apply. Now it's all fixed up. Perfect. All right, great. Let's keep going. <clears throat> Okay, so we're still all in eighth notes. Let's just apply to that. Take a listen back, make sure it's all right. And we're actually all done there. We ended up bar 12 beat two, and that was the last thing we had. Great. So that's how it works with swing drums in Elastic Audio. Uh, the beauty of it is if you have this 100% swing on, um, we could go back and do that bass drum edit thing that we all love to do so much where any time a bass drum's off, we grab it by hand and fix it. So let's go to our hand tool, press F8. Uh, here's a bass drum that's off, grab it by hand. And you can go back to your grid mode here because this is a 100% swing. So everything will be on these triplets that we're in. Pull it back, perfect. Now let's keep going. And you might not have all the same ones as me because you might have started from different areas and uh, maybe it detected a little better than mine did. Uh, let's look at eight here. I'm at, it looks like bar eight and uh, after beat four here. Let's click it, lock it in. Perfect. Okay, here's another one. We're going to go to F8, double click it, grab it, and lock it in. And they keep happening. So we're gonna go through this whole song and keep doing it just so we have everything perfect. So another one. Looks like the cymbal got hit slightly before the bass drum, but like I said, we want the bass drums on the cymbals wash. You see how the cymbals start low and get bigger? Uh, that will sound pretty natural uh, with them hitting together here. Let's keep moving, and we're done editing the bass drums up. All right, so we'll zoom out. We know what we have here. We listened back. We're comfortable with it, and we're ready to commit to it. So let's get rid of our event operations window by exiting it out. We'll go down 
to where, not where it says polyphonic, but where it has this little mark here, Elastic Audio Plugin Selector. Click it, go up to None, Disable Elastic Audio. And commit to that. All right, now you just edited a swing feel. It's a little bit more difficult. Um, and we had some fills to work with. We added some triplets out, uh, which is fantastic. But uh, th that's how you use that swing feel there. And you can change how much swing is in it by changing from 100% to different percentages. That's why I wanted to use that as we did uh, this elastic audio. Uh, thanks for sticking with me, and I'll see you on the next one.